Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So just the morning of day 7, today is Horde Night. Uh, I did a few things last night. So we had we picked up two skill points yesterday. So I put one into Grease Monkey. We're really close to getting the motorcycle, but we need to get intellect to level 6. We've only got one point left, so if we get two levels today, I mean we could put two points into here and one into here, but I want to see if we can find the Nerdy Goggles today. I got a bunch of stuff melted into the forge. Uh, what did I do last night? Uh, I got those there for the motorcycle. Not a lot. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff on us for the horde. So we got 12 Molotovs and 10 pipe bombs, which I think is probably more than enough. Plus we got our shotgun. Uh, what's damaged here? Oh, that is. Alright, so let's head over to where we're going to hold the horde down today. Put a little bit of thought into what, we, what I wanted to do. It shouldn't be too bad holding it down here. Uh, right at this location here. So I think the first thing I want to do is take down these trees. So we have line of sight outside of um, what I um, where this place is, just so that I can see the zombies approaching. And we'll take this tree down too. All right, two trees down. Nice. Uh, those ones will be fine. They're far enough away, I think. So we're gonna go in here. I think there's a couple of zombies in here. There's one right there. We're gonna loot this place real quick. And I think I know how I wanna hold this down. We're gonna sit up on top of that because this is all concrete, right? It's like 500 hit points or whatever it is. Sorry, 5,000 hit points, not 500. Uh, 5,000 hit points. So for this first horde, should be more than enough. All right, take this guy out. There might be a couple of more here somewhere. Looking quiet on the outside. Quiet up here. So I don't think, I mean the zombies are super ingenious. They can crawl up here and jump across and then get across the wire and then jump onto the roof. But other than that, they're not getting onto the roof at all. Now this hole is going to be a problem. Didn't think it was this big. Anybody in here? Yep. Waiting by the wrong door, buddy. Okay, massive pit down here. Did not expect that. Eh, let's go down and take a quick look here. Don't think anything's going to spawn in, but you never know. Nope, nothing in here. Just grab this real quick. Yeah, I might as well scrap the nail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything that we have for Horde on the roof. Well, that's interesting. Come on, give me some dollars. Yes, 18 bucks closer. 18 bucks closer. All right. So we've got to fill this in. we got to do something about this door. Ooh, mechanical part. That's not bad either. Um, can we did We can put one block here. Hey. Is your mind freaking right off? I got shit to do today. Of course, that was a miss. That one wasn't. And neither will this one be. Enjoy. Okay, so I guess we gotta break. How many hit points? There's only got 500. So that's not too bad. Let's break some of these out. Because I don't think I don't think any because with the new upgrade system, they don't upgrade to the blocks above. So if I break this one, or if I if I yeah, we can just replace that now. If I was to um, just upgrade that block, which would we'd have to have steel. But it looks like this when it's done. It doesn't actually upgrade to a full block. Like in the old days, you used to be able to just um, 
you used to just be able to upgrade this block and it would become a full block again, which to me makes the most amount of sense. But I guess with the new shapes, uh, the shapes just get upgraded regardless of what they look like. And I know some of the wooden shapes you can't upgrade. So, I mean, I don't know. It's tricky on what you can do and what you can't do. All right, let's get this real quick. I wonder if I should wrench all this electrical stuff here too before we uh, run the horde. We'll see what our timing is like. All right, let's upgrade these guys and this guy. Okay, and then we should be able to put a block here. Apparently not. I guess that's considered rubble. A 5,000 hit points rubble. Really? All right, we're going to take the door out completely. I'd like to just be able to fill this in completely. So 300 hit points isn't that much, and we can upgrade it, but we're better off just putting a whole uh, set of blocks in here. This actually wouldn't be a bad starter base either. You know? Concrete walls, you could live on the roof, and then, you know, Bob's your uncle. Or in my case, father-in-law. We'll do that, and then we'll do... So that's all metal. Upgrade that. Because this is all 5,000, right? So I wonder if we need... Because they're going to attack the weakest part, which is probably this stuff. I wonder if that's what they're going to go for. Ah, it won't matter. If they get inside, what difference does it make? They can't get to us. And there's not going to be a big enough horde that they're going to actually bring this place down on Horde Night. So if they get inside, well, they get inside. There's not much I can really do about it, you know? All right, let's get some of this stuff. I think we're ready. I don't think we really have to do much more. I guess we should... Uh, let's break this stuff out. Just so it's got less of a temptation for them to climb on top of. I want them to spend more time, like, con congregating below me to make the maximum use out of my... Uh, Molotovs and pipe bombs rather than trying to figure a way to get up to my level. So yeah, I mean other than like them climb like like let's say they climb up here. Ow. Okay, well apparently they can't get over that. So they're not gonna be able to get to me then. In theory. I mean, if you were a player. You could probably just yeah, out for birds. Nothing. You could probably just come up here and then run and jump. That would make it easy. Might as well take the feathers. Another bird's nest over there. Yeah, like you could just climb up there and then you could just like run and jump. But I don't think the zombies aren't going to be smart enough to do that. So we got we got plenty. Let's take these apart. I think we're done. I don't think we need to do anything else. We're going to drop uh, all the stuff we need for Horde here. So just so we can come straight here wherever we are. And we'll just have Horde Knight. I'll leave the hammer and the cobble here in case we, for whatever reason, we need to upgrade the metal below us. Because this is just metal. Gonna get upgraded directly to concrete. I got a chest here we can stick in the middle of the roof. And then put the stuff here that we need. Which is just that, I think. Uh, let's leave one of these. And one of these. And we're good to go. Yeah. We are good to go for Horde Night. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but... Eh, at this point, what difference does it make? All right, let's go over to the trader. Uh, we'll check out what he's got. Hopefully he's got nerdy glasses. Um, I really hope he's got nerdy glasses. It might be worth... Well, no, I was going to say it might be worth riding out to go see Wrecked to see if he's got nerdy glasses, but I, I don't think it's worth going out there. I mean, we would... I mean, we could always go out there tomorrow, right? If we don't find the... Uh, Nerdy goggles here today. Hanging around. All right, can I see your inventory? So what do you got for me, Bubba? Um, anything good in here? We got the handlebars. But 
but it's nine grand. We're short. We'd have to do a bunch of jobs for him here today. Knocking your enemy down again. Armor schematic, robotic parts. Uh, 100 gunpowder. I'm, yeah, I have to, like... i got to stay on the gunpowder. Uh, maybe we make some more pipe bombs for tonight, too. You even got more robotic parts, too. Cobblestone. It's so cheap, right? And that's my base build, so I just... don't not buy it, you know? Um, nothing there. No eggs today. You got a foregrip mod. Fully auto trigger group, though. That might be nice for the pistol. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting. Got Molotovs as well. Uh, bullet tips I'm going to buy. Casings we've got a crap ton of, so I'm not worried about finding those. Robotic turrets. Five grand. I don't want to spend that. Compound crossbow. That's a lot for a compound crossbow. 1800 for grenades. How much is this? 615? Do I want to top off the mo Yeah, let's just do it. I don't know how many zombies we're going to get tonight. It is a max zombie horde, so who knows. Alright, that's pretty good. Time to move on. Yeah, um... You got any jobs, buddy? Fetch to the south. Uh, only, we only got one good one here today, so we'll take the one. And now, that's just dandy. Yeah. We'll take this one. It's just down there. So we're going to stop by the house first. Drop all this gack off. Um, go do that quest. We can leisurely do it, which is great. We'll uh, punk around down there. I'm going to see if I can get... Um, I want to see if I can get some more... Um, gasoline, because we're down to seven gas. So even if we were to make a motorcycle, we're not going anywhere with it. Uh, we need gas. We need oil to make more Molotovs. If he's not going to give them to us... Um, but then we don't really need them for this particular horde. Let's go ahead and harvest this too. I'm interested to see if we get seeds back. So we got, we did get seeds back. We got two coffee beans. What about here? Nope, no seed. Okay. And potato. No seed. Aloe. We got a seed back for the aloe. Alright, well, it's 50-50, looks like. It's really all the... I mean, the coffee was like the only thing I was worried about. Alright, here we are. Don't know this place. Doesn't look too bad, though. Oh, I know this place. Okay. Um, because we can. We're going to double loot the rock here, or the stone, simply because I need a lot of stone. Ah, shit, I lost that one. So I'm going to break the stone down, then we'll set the quest and go. Alright, there's that one done. Let's activate. Can we activate from up here? Yeah, we can now. Yeah, once again, I'm going to break this down again. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and repair this. So the quest is telling us to go down, but since this is the only mission we're taking today, let's go ahead and do the whole place get the XP hopefully find some good gack hopefully not get ganked Ooh, crawler Ooh, was a crawler all right we're gonna just go ahead and pilfer as we go so the horde tonight I don't know man I'm not that worried about it. I don't think I, I've yet to see... Like, I've played past the Day 21 horde, and I've yet to see flyers. I think Day 21 had a couple of flyers um, on my off-camera playthrough. But the first two hordes generally don't have any uh, birds or anything, so we should be okay. Hello. Goodbye. Really, I mean, I don't know. I've seen a lot of YouTubers uh, make like kind of like an elaborate horde base and stuff for day seven. I, I don't, I'm not really, um, I don't say big on making a horde base for day seven, but to me it always feels like I'm wasting resources if I do that. Oop. That could be bad. Stay quiet. Uh, 
You heard me anyway, did you? I was staying quiet. Why are you why are you just you're blowing my cover? Stop blowing my cover. Oof. I felt that one. Alright. That problem averted. Grab some free money. It's in here. Ooh, bar. I guess that's the way we're going. So let's check these cupboards first. Anything good in here? Ooh, backpack. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Ah, some first aid. Man, I find so much first aid, but... I guess if we were playing on... Like, higher difficulties with Feral Sense turned on... That, like, finding that... Finding that much first aid would be a godsend. Because I, I have a feeling you'd be using it, like, all the time. And I did try playing uh, with Feral Sense turned on. Um, and the max settings, of course. Insane difficulty, nightmare speed. Like I said, I couldn't even get to the trader. Because they just detect you, like... As soon as you're in their radius, they just detect you. And they just run straight for you. And at nightmare speeds, you're, you're not getting away from them, right? Okay. Come on. Oh. I don't know, man. Hitboxes seem a little weird now, but I'm, I'm okay with it. It's frustrating because you're, like, hoping for those headshots and you keep missing. But I think it's a little better now, like, a little more accurate. Because before, it was, like, always harder to miss. Um, but now it just feels like they're um, utilizing those hitboxes properly. Like, because so when you zoom in, it could end up anywhere within that little... In between the lines there. So, well, that one went outside the line. But it's never going to quite be accurate, you know? Once again, I've been through this place before, so... Yeah, I, they just don't seem to have the same detecting or detection ability that they used to. Especially if you're playing like a stealth stealth build. Like I'm not, I'm not like I have no points in stealth, so it's not like I'm playing a stealth build where I'm actually more stealthy than normal. So I don't know. It just seems like I can get closer to them. And maybe, like I said, maybe it's because I've come off Darkness Falls, and you know. Um, it was a little more difficult, I guess, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. Garbage. All right. We need the sand. I'm seriously actually considering melting the sand or making jars out of it. Because we burn through, we're going to burn through the jars really quickly. And we need them for both water and for, uh, for pipe bombs. Ah, we'll take those. Scrap that. Just thought there was somebody there. Lots of brass, though. Alright, there's the airdrop. Can we get back up to the attic real quick? Come on, don't fall. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Oh, for shit's sake, really? I lost the airdrop. I know I could put air mark airdrops on, but um, it's less of a challenge. All right, where the hell did it go? We lost, we didn't get the first one. Oh, over there, okay. Um, is that downtown? It is. Uh, I'm gonna say somewhere down here. little off. Yeah, it's about five football fields, right? Roughly. Maybe a little farther in that direction. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's finish this place up, and if we get time, we'll go see if we can uh, find that. I'm interested to see what's in it. Watch it be like a, 
like motorcycle parts or something like that. Wouldn't that be great? All right, what were we doing? Oh yeah, going through here. So those airdrops are supposed, like I said, are supposed to be pretty good now. So I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Okay, loading zombies in. Okay, there's a workbench over there. Let's knock this out of the way. So my goal, I think, is to um, have a, a uh, easy path to the stairs. Just in case we get overwhelmed down here. I don't know. I don't know why I'm running so paranoid at the moment, but I guess because it's horde night, I got my hi heightened sense of awareness on. Like, oh no, we got the horde coming. Let's not die before horde. more just you two yeah it's not loot anything just yet I'm tempted to dig up this stuff but better not okay nothing there ah shit check your corners okay we got a guy back here I thought for a second the other guy over there on the other side was irradiated this guy here but he's not I don't know if we can sneak around in here though. That's going to be tricky. Maybe one more shot at it. Oh, we can. A little high. I'll get it. I want to get this guy. God damn it, really? There we go. Took a few, but we definitely got him. That got caught in the uh, cobwebs. We got one more. Okay. Doesn't mean it was just the three. Doesn't mean it was just the three. Stay very, very quiet. So that goes down and under. Oh man. Is that it? That's it. Wow. Okay, was not expecting that, but sure, we'll loot this up. And we got, what, eight hours before Horde shows up. So we got plenty of time to go roaming around downtown, potentially getting ourselves damaged or killed, uh, looking for a stupid airdrop that may or may not have something we want. You know, I don't know. Well, we can sell those. Okay, let's use this. Let's use this. Get those out of our inventory. We can use this. So we need the jar anyway. We can scrap that. So, and then we'll check the uh, case here. Ooh, okay. A shotgun, a map. All right, not bad. Um, let's repair you. Now, the maps, I think, are no longer closed. They're a little farther away. That's a gun bag. Let's get under here and get this gun bag. Actually, we should be hitting this one up. Yeah? No, thank you. Okay. <coughs> All right, so we're going to hit through this one. The reason being is that we can just kind of like jump up and over this here. So we can go underneath and grab you. All right, some gun parts, and then we can creep under this and then just kind of jump up and over. Why are we not being able to jump up and over? 
Oh, we can. Never mind. Alright, I'm gonna loot this place real quick. Uh, we'll grab the cobble and stuff, probably. It's probably the most valuable down here, and then break that workbench up and we'll get the hell out of here. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Ooh, we got another plug. You never know, you can find some good stuff in here. And maybe not. I'll scrap that, take the rest. Okay, now, is there an easy way out of here? I don't think there is a super easy way. I don't feel like nerd pulling. Yeah, there's no, um... Really? You know, I figure if the, the zombies can crawl through those spaces, the player should be able to do it too. So it'll it certainly make getting out of, um... Getting out of buildings a lot easier. Alright, let's just drop the stuff that we're gonna keep. Uh, those guys, that, 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 this, um, the iron, and the lead. Alright, so this should be an interesting trek. Now like I said, we've, we haven't really discovered most of the, the city yet. We've got part of it. Um, but the town, like I said, I made to be really, really huge. So I'm interested to see... Like, I know this will be in the downtown core, but I'm really praying that it's, like, not on top of a building. Like, that was the one thing in the old version that, you know, you never really worry too, too much of it landing on top of a building. Uh, because the buildings were fairly well spaced out. But now it's like they're not necessarily well spaced, so there's a good chance that it'll be on top of something. Runner. Okay, so here's where I guessed it would be. Shouldn't we see the smoke coming off it though, or did they change that? Okay. Did it go down there? That would just be my luck. Okay, I don't see a box down there. I'm not seeing anything. So it should be... If it was farther, it should be here. Right? Ooh, military truck back there. I don't know. I guess I should, if I'm going to do airdrops, I guess I should do, mark them on the map. Because I can't, uh, foresee finding them if that's not the case. How are we going to find them if they don't, if there's no smoke coming off them still? Like, I don't see anything on the buildings. Alright, let's go up the next road then. It couldn't have been more than five football fields away. Like, 500 meters. Okay, now we're into the, the uh, out of downtown now. I don't know. Oh, there's a cop right there. Let's, uh, not and say we did. Yeah, let's go discover some more of the town then. Then we'll come back with fresh eyes going the other way. We'll go, I guess, one street to the left. To the east. On the way back. Yep, not spotting anything. Man, this city, I swear to God, looks so good. Diamonds Men's Club. Once we get the uh, appropriate gear, definitely coming down here. Having a bit of a loading issue, but it's just because it's loading so much shit in. Alright, I guess we go over one street now. Yeah, see how it's just chunk loading it in? I know it's not a real wall, but I want to just make sure. Alleyway. 
Oh, okay, so the main... Excuse me, the main street doesn't hook up that way? There's the church. Okay, so this is the road that we went down coming the other way. And I don't see the drop anywhere. So, I'm going to consider that a lost drop. Or maybe I'll put an X on the map and put a question mark. See, there's one of those ATMs. Let's just see. God, we got lags. Like, it's laggy, laggy, laggy. Ooh, are we going to break into this in the first shot? We are. Ooh, a thousand bucks. Well, that's going to help us get out of here. So that's worth it then, if we can find those ATMs, man. So that makes it... That makes that kind of playstyle play style vi viable where you have to like earn X amount of paper money before you can quote-unquote get out of the uh, city. We got to go back. We can't waste, waste any more time. Yeah, man, it would be nice to like build a horde base downtown or build a whole base downtown and then hold everything down there and just see how much damage like consecutive hordes could just do to the downtown core. Like I wonder if they would eventually clear all the buildings around you. And I'm interested to see where the zombies would spawn in a situation like that. So do they spawn on the ground floor of the building? Um, or would they spawn behind it? Or do they spawn on top of it? Or do they spawn at all on the building? Like, would they all spawn in the streets? That's an interesting question. Hopefully we'll uh, get an answer to that later in the series. Because we definitely want to do a horde down there, just not right away. And I'm hoping that um, we don't end up with too much lag. Alright, let's stop up at Hubert's. Hey, Houston. Hey, don't you grumble at me, I got your job done. Okay, okay. So which I one's worth more? 134, 100, 96. Alright, we're just going to sell you this. Uh, can I see your inventory? Got a bunch of stuff to sell you. Uh, yep. And yep, and yep, and yep, and all this, and these two, and that, and this. So what are we at? 7,000 now again. Okay. All right, that's all right. Uh, we don't need anything from you. Buy, I'll let you show yourself out. What do you got for tomorrow? French clear to the south. If you agree to help me, Old Victorian I'm house. Do you have a something that's like a business or something? Oh wait, um, oh this is to the west, night only though. We'll have to try one of these, but not just yet. I don't think we're quite there yet. Let's grab the closest one then, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. All right, well, let's get home, drop this stuff off, and get over to the horde base. Let's try not to get killed tonight. I don't think we will, but. You never know. Let's put the bike down. Um, I think on the other side here. Up the alleyway. Like up on here, I guess. And make sure there's no... Yep, okay. Because if worst case scenario, we got to jump off of this... Uh, if we have to jump off of here. Yeah, under here. We got to jump off this thing, then we can jump down on the bike. And get the hell out of here. All right, well. All right, well, let's grab our stuff here. And we can put away the things we don't need tonight. We can put those in there. Uh, we'll leave the bow on us. We might need that. Lockpicks we don't need. The money, well, if this chest gets broken, though. I don't think it will, but if it gets broken... I don't want to lose those. That can... Stay there, we'll hang on to those. So, what are we doing primary, secondary? Let's bring the shotgun down. Uh, there. And we got 17 Molotovs, doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm sure it'll be plenty. The hammer I don't think we'll need right away. Oops, pipe bombs come down here. Well, let's read this map. And Sarah. That's not it. 
Where are you, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Uh, oh, it's over this way. I guess that's kind of on the way to Rex. There might be something over here because there's a road there. I mean, if we go see Rex tomorrow, what's our... How are we doing here for skills? We got two points. Do we bite the bullet? Let's bite the bullet. I want the motorcycle tomorrow. We'll do that, and then tomorrow we can get uh, Motorcycle Maniac. If we get two skill points, we can put it into Advanced Engineering, uh, get the electrical traps, um, so we can get fences, blade traps, although we don't have steel for the blade traps, but um, we can craft a generator. So that would be advantageous too, but I think tomorrow we can get the motorbike for sure. Like, we should easily get a level tonight. Uh, let's load this guy up. Gonna try to use this for most of tonight for shooting zombies, so I'm not using my important ammunition. Uh, like this stuff. Save this for later, but if we need to, like, deal some damage, we'll go ahead and use it. Let's prepare that guy to get started. Uh, we got that for the shotgun. And let's go ahead and just use this. Save that in case we need it. Uh, yep. Sure. Let's put you in there. Not expecting a lot of loot bags to that either. Okay, so I think we got everything. The holes are all pa are all clogged up in here. Most likely they're going to either hit this part here, or they're going to go for the door down here. In which case... It's good news for us because it just max means we can maximize our pipe bombs and our, uh, our Molotovs. I don't want to be punching or like throwing the shit into a group of only two of them. I want to make sure we can get like three to five at, at, at every pop. And I'm not sure how big the waves are going to be at 64 max alive seven days at seven at, like, at seven days in. Yeah, Hugh's going to hide in his attic. I don't blame you, Hugh. You got eight minutes. Make sure you get up there and get snug in your bed. Hide real easy. He's, I don't know. He must have some kind of some kind of uh, spray that he sprays on himself so the zombies don't detect him during the horde. Ooh, uh, that thing right there, that transformer box. We still need some steel. Those things usually give two or three when you wrench them. So we have to go tomorrow, I think, and wrench some steel. So they're coming from that direction. Two of them. Three. Come on, you guys. Four. Five. Six. Can we group up, please, people? Okay, so they are kind of grouping up here. Now you gotta light these two. Come on, run in the fire. There you go. There you go. I love the sound of the shotgun. It just takes forever to load and the recoil, like, you're kind of like jerked. Jerked sideways when the damn thing fires. What about you guys? Oh, there's three new ones. Alright. Let's try one of these guys. Hold on to that. We get all of them? All of them but that guy. He was too far away. Well, let's finish him off. Ah! Tricky bastard. Okay, we got three down here now. Come on, more. Get over here. I don't know what they, why they decide to go where they go. Oops. Damn it. That was wasted. You can't even shoot those either, which is really annoying. Like, you should be able to shoot them and have it go off, but I can't find a way to do it. Yeah, see? It's just so frustrating. Come on, you guys. Oh, you got up there. How'd you get up there? Oh, somebody broke a block. Does that mean they're inside? Let's see if that'll go off with that. Nope. That's completely useless. 
What a wasted Molotov. It'll probably despawn before morning and I lost it. Where is everybody? I thought they were there. They're not here. Are they inside? I think they're inside. Yeah, I think they're inside now. Here they come. Here they come. Hold that, guys. At least I remember the light at this time. You, get over here. Set her on fire. Somebody. Okay, she's down. Yeah, they're inside. I think somebody's fallen down in there. Ooh, juicy. I think we may have to finish this horde off with a shotgun. Ah, crap. Good thing my life didn't depend on that shot. You know what would be neat? Is if you could set up fuel barrels that you could shoot and have explode. That would be kind of cool. Like that Molotov, I should have been able to shoot that Molotov, you know? Come on. There you go. Still going though, are you? Man, she can start moving before I can even finish reloading. This thing is so slow. Oh, maybe we got an opportunity. Do we? Yep, we got a bit of an opportunity. Let's maximize it. Come on, get out here, people. Where are you off to? They probably broke a second door and they're running between doors now. Mr. Businessman. Ooh. Still going. Come on, reload, 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 reload. There we go. Okay, we're only halfway up, up to the next level, so we may not make it. You cut a little bit of buckshot off that one. Come on, you guys. Get out here. Come back out. Okay, you're outside. Miss. Alright, they're back out here. Christ, is like trying to herd bees. Enjoy that, people. Enjoy that. You, get in the fire. There you go. Thanks for thanks for helping out. Getting there. Two thirds. Two thirds of the way. I don't think there's going to be enough zombies though. Oh, well, we got more coming. Man, she just left them the head of that guy and then just jumped over. There you go. Burn it up, guys. Burn it up. Get over here, lady. Oof. Man, the shotgun choke really helps out. Helps channel that, uh, the buckshot into a very small area, so at least you can maximize EV shotgun round. Especially at range. Okay, there's some more. I'm just using them now. We got three of them. Okay, that's not bad. Come on, you bastard. Hurry up. Actually, let's just... Uh... Get that guy done. Sounds like the horde's petering out. Not quite enough experience to get a level. That pissed him off. I think this is the last guy. Come on. Got your foot. Too far.
What are you doing? That, I think, is it. Just pause for a second. I don't think there's enough worry to not go down there, but... Yeah, I don't think there's going to be another wave. It would have spawned already if there was. Alright, let's go grab these bags. Yeah, they didn't take too long to break in there. Okay. Brass, weighted head mod. Some food, a wrench, some ammo. Yeah, they broke in here. But they didn't seem to want to go down into the pit, which I guess is a good thing. They didn't break through here, though, so... There was only one block here, though. That's the thing, right? Because we couldn't replace that one. So they only broke the one block. Guess we have to go around. So that's what, four bags we got? Three bags? Now at least we got our freaking red tea back. Alright, well. Could have been worse, I guess. Alright, let's get it. You know, I'm just going to grab my GAC off the roof. Head back to the house. We're going to get things sorted tonight. And figure out what we need for um, the motorcycle. We didn't get enough experience today to get that motorbike skill. But what we can do is um, tomorrow... Um, ow. That's probably a bad spot for that hole. Um... Uh, Tomorrow we can go around, grab the little bit of XP that we do need. We'll check the trader to see if he's got any good jobs for us. Uh, and if he does, we'll go do that real quick. And then actually, you know what? I could probably... Give me a second here. Can we get enough... XP, do you figure, just upgrading all these blocks? get in between there right there it is folks wow couldn't get the xp killing the horde but we can most certainly get it upgrading our building which is bizarre in my books but whatever we can't actually get underneath that how can we not get under that oh there we go let's get the rest of this if we can so that, we can focus then tomorrow on getting another level. And that should give us the electricity. So now we can start thinking about actually making a serious horde base for the next horde. I mean, we could use the same building. I mean, that's still a possibility. Man, we used two pipe bombs and like what? Six Molotovs? How many did we have when we started? We used six, right? Yeah, we used six Molotovs, or seven Molotovs, something like that. So it wasn't very much. And a few rounds of ammunition, like, I mean, well, we used 34 shotgun rounds, but I was just kind of like plinking for the sake of plinking them. You know, I didn't really have to do it. Bring these guys down. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty, um, that's pretty efficient in the way of ammunition usage if you were looking at uh, handling a horde. Uh, we can sell this guy. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm going to try and figure out exactly what we need to make the motorbike, because now we can just quickly go here. And if I can get it built before morning, then we're going to head out and get that um, treasure done. I'm going to go see Wreck tomorrow, see what he's got, because um, we should be able to get there and back pretty quickly. And then we'll go from there. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.